Another scene Depending that Liz Cheney, we're talking about this new book. It's not out yet. She'll be with us next week, by the way, here in the studio to talk about it. She describes a scene on Capitol Hill before the attack on January 6th. It's according to CNN that received an early copy of the book, Cheney writes how she was in the Republican cloakroom where members were encouraged to sign their names on electoral vote objection sheets for each of the states Republicans were contesting. Cheney writes most members knew it was a farce and another public display of fealty to Donald Trump. She continues, among them was Republican Congressman Mark Green of Tennessee. As he moved down the line, signing his name to the pieces of paper, Green said sheepishly to no one in particular, quote, the things we do for the orange Jesus. Quoting there, wow. Joe, a United States congressman talking about Donald Trump as they sign <laughs> sheets of paper in an attempt to fraudulently overturn an American presidential election. Now, and, and, and again, they, they know. They know. They know it's nonsense. They all knew they all it was nonsense. Know. And John, uh, John Lemire, you wrote the book on this. They knew this was nonsense. The current Speaker of the House knew this was nonsense, but he actually led the attempt to overthrow the United States government. Let me say that again. The current Speaker of the House led the attempt inside the House to overthrow election results of a presidential election, thereby overthrowing American democracy. He led it because, as Liz Cheney said, he was so desperate to be in Trump circle. For Orange Jesus. He drafted the paperwork for the coup is what the new speaker did. And this is so it's a useful reminder of just how completely in Donald Trump's sway these Republicans were. They were willing to let him throw this temper tantrum after the election. They were willing to so they wouldn't have to concede. And this includes Mitch McConnell, who also let him go on for a long time uh, before finally standing up to him. And then so many members of the House of Representatives were happily signed on to participate in his coup, to go along with what happened on January 6th, many of whom continue to do so even after the riots. They still went through with their objections and efforts to install uh, fake electors. And really, now very little has changed. In part because of that Kevin McCarthy visit, where he went to Mar-a-Lago, and not just to deliver some McDonald's, apparently, but to apologize. He apologized to Donald Trump for speaking harshly to him on January 6th. And that was the beginning of Trump's rehabilitation within the Republican Party. And we have now seen he is net well on his way to being their nominee again. It was a pivotal moment, as was Lindsey Graham, who says, I'm done, I'm out, I'm finished. We had a good ride together, but I'm done with Donald Trump. And then somebody was mean to him in the airport Amen. in Washington, and he flipped on it. Board. There's also, Mike, the human side of this. We've talked about this, Joe, and I have talked about this off the air, too. As, a, as an adult, as a man, how do you look yourself in the mirror? What do you say to your kids when they say, but dad or husband or friend or son, all the evidence says you shouldn't have done these things. This is all a lie. Why are you doing this? What do you say? What do you tell your kids? Well, I had to do it because the big guy was real mad at us. Marge.